Hey, it's Mike here with a new video. This is the XEDK prototype from my last video. We're doing a follow up today. I'm gonna give you a close up of everything here. There's the part number 007. It has the Argon board, Titan, black light diffuser, and the wind tunnel. The GPU is an A21N2, according to Xenon Library. It's really hard to focus on the number, but it's X02056-008. I noticed, of course it has blown out caps, but someone put in these really huge blue ones. That's definitely not right. So we're gonna replace those today. I'm gonna replace these ones also. They look okay right now, but you know, they are 20 years old and I don't want to have them blowing up anytime soon. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get these removed. I'll just do one on camera. I have low melt solder here to chip quick. There's one. I'll do the rest off camera. Got all the caps removed. They came out without any kind of trouble. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the new ones. Okay, I have applied some steery flux. We're gonna take some of this Kester solder and we're gonna just Add a little to the pads here. Okay. I'm gonna take one of the caps here. We're gonna hold it to the, the pad here. And we'll take this wide bladed tip. So I'm taking my wide bladed tip here. Keep the solder molten while I push a new cap in from this side. It's kind of tricky to do that holding the board. So I'm just gonna do the rest off camera. Okay, 22 capacitors and 200 Q-tips later. The job has been completed. The heat sinks are installed, fresh thermal paste. Let's go over and give it a test. All right, that there is how you do capacitors on an XEDK the right way. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to make one more clip of it all back together.
Thanks again for watching.